Hi everyone, this is Jennifer from JE Photography Design. Today I wanted to show you a quick little tutorial on using the watercolor templates that I have available for sale. This is the tester that I was giving out to some people to, just to test it for me. Um, and as you can see, my templates do come with a little um, instruction on how to do it, which can be turned off or on uh, over here in the layers panel. So I'm working in Photoshop. So over in the layers panel, you can turn that layer off and that way you can continue to work with your template. So uh, first things first, you need to open some photos that you want to use. So I just opened two. I'm going to actually bring this other one in. So I'll walk you through how to do that. So I just opened it in Photoshop and I'm just going to select the image. And so all I did was use my uh, little here, my marquee tool. And now I'm using my move tool. So I've got my dancing ants around and I'm just going to click in the picture and I'm just going to drag it into my watercolor tester. So these photos here are going to come in small because I've saved them for uh, just for screen. So they're really small um, files to begin with, but when you use a high resolution file, they're going to come in much larger. So now I'm going to need to adjust the size of this photo. So I'm going to do Control T or Command T on a Mac, which is going to give me the uh, points around it. And I'm going to expand it as needed. So as you can see with this one, the watercolor is kind of coming outside of the photo. So I'm not going to be able to get the whole photo in. So I'm going to show you a quick trick on what to do. So I'm going to press enter to put the picture there. And I'm going to over here in the layers panel, I'm going to bring that layer down. And sorry, um, disregard that. Okay, so normally your layer would come down and it's going to look like this. Your picture is going to be over top of your watercolor layer. So what you need to do now is while that layer is highlighted, you need to right click and you need to go to create clipping mask which is then just going to clip it to all the, the black mask that are, sorry, the black um, layer that was there. So now as you can see over on the sides here, where my picture didn't expand to, there are some black spots because the, there was no picture to fill that. So you can easily, on the watercolor layer, I'm going to do Control T, or again, Command T on a Mac, I'm going to just adjust this watercolor template. I'm just shrinking it down. Sometimes you have to hold shift to hold aspect ratio. Sometimes you don't. I, for some reason, my computer does weird things when it reboots at times. So now I've changed it. So my whole photo fits within there. And I want to move the photo around a little bit because I want to see that fairy up in the corner right there. So I'm just going to bring it down like that. And so as I can see, you can see over here, more black has come about. So I'm going to control T that like that. And you can, you can expand it up. You can expand it down, whatever you want to do. Lots of options with this. That's the, the bonus to the uh, template that you can change it as you need. You can actually, even if you want it, um, while you're still in the watercolor layer, go to edit, transform, Warp. So I'm going to warp it a little bit so my watercolor, all I'm doing is I'm slowly dragging the points here. And I'm just going to warp this slightly so the mask, sorry it's not a mask, it's a template, it acts like a mask, is going to allow my fairy to show through. So you can do anything you want like that with all of these templates, which makes them a lot of fun to use and, and very versatile. If you have, let's say, um, so that one's in, I have it at, on a uh, landscape setting. Say I want to change that. And now I want to, I want to actually, make this whole thing in a portrait style right now. So I'm going to highlight those two layers 
and I'm going to go edit, um, transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. And, oh, sorry, that didn't work. My bad. Disregard that. That's, you have to actually change the whole canvas size. Okay, so I'm not going to do that right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to control T my watercolor layer. So I'm going to uh, change it. I want to, this one doesn't work as well because I have the drippings on the side. But I just wanted to give you an idea of how you can adjust majority of the uh, templates for your liking. So maybe this one I just want on a bit of an angle like this. So I have another photo that I brought in and I'm going to show you. I've already brought it into Photoshop so I'm just going to bring the layer down and it's already, I already have a clipping mask on it. So you can release the clipping mask which would remove it. I got to turn the layer on that helps for you to see it. So now I'm going to create a clipping mask which is going to clip it to that. And now I want to see control T. I want to adjust the size of this image to make it fit in a little bit better to the layer. So all I'm doing is dragging and moving it to where I want it. Sorry, my computer's really slow. Okay. So that's basically how you use these watercolor templates. So the bundle that I have for sale right now, and then I'm also going to be rolling out an, an expansion pack, are all the same idea. Just using a clipping mask and you can adjust the watercolor layer as needed. So with that, I'm going to show you quickly. Yeah, maybe not so quick. So in our website, Photographer's Digital Market, you will find under Digital Backgrounds, and if you go to my name, Jennifer Earl, you will be able to find the watercolor template bundle. So right now it's still on sale for $15. That will be going up slightly, and you will receive all of these unique 13 different unique watercolor templates. So they're all in uh, as a PSD format. You will, some of them are like, there's three different designs on one uh, PSD file. So you'll have to just kind of go through and check. Like the hearts have three, the rectangles have three. So though you may only get four or five PSD files, go into each of them and see there will be different uh, styles and designs. And as you can see as I kind of hover over them, they are all different, each their own kind of design, splatters, stuff like that. Um, and there's different ideas so you can see how they are used. Anyways, that is, oops, that is um, how to use the watercolor templates. Hopefully you find that helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask at any time at In The Box Education, or you can uh, contact me um, via Messenger, Jennifer Earl, and you, I'm the admin of In The Box Education, so you can find me through there. Or you can also message me through the site where you purchased the templates from. Thanks so much, everyone, and hope you all have a great day.